Why do artists gatekeep? I never understood this. Why? Whether it's where they got their brushes, what brush they use, which is stupid. I hate when people are like, what brush is that? It's like always the same brush. I get that. But I don't see why you got to gatekeep it. But it's like brushes, tutorials, what classes they're taking. Who's inspiring this this drawing that you just did? Who inspired you to do this? Gatekeeping. I don't, I'm not going to tell you. Why? Why can't I know? What's the big deal? Or where do you get your art prints made? Where do you get your stickers made? Or where do you get your shirts made? And they're like, they just ignore it or they just change the subject and it's like Dan, that's cold that's cold you're cold it's weird to me because I, I just want to help people anybody who asks me a question ever since i was a, a little guy i used to draw my own shirts people would ask me questions where i get my shirts from where i get my paint i would tell them no big deal i just want to help usually when somebody asks me anything i'll give them the best information i can through dms but this question has been asked a lot and i've been dming people like oh yeah this is how you do it this is how you do it but it's kind of hard to explain through dms but i've gotten the question enough times to where i think i could finally make a tutorial on it and this is how i make my instagram fluid like a just a seamless grid it's basically a grid but it's like seamless art but it's a lot of planning that goes into it so everybody who's been waiting for this fluid grid like instagram page layout i hope you like this video and if you do please drop a like comment you gotta drop a sub but if you do that'd be pretty cool because i'm trying to be like an art youtuber now this stuff's cool i love doing this this is fun every monday every single monday i post a uh, art related video art tutorials draw with me sketchbook tours all that stuff artist alley vlogs but uh yeah let's get into the tutorial and uh we'll talk more about gatekeepers at the end of the video it's it's weird to me i don't i don't get it i'm just, i'm just i got a different mindset i guess let's, let's go Okay, so if you, you've seen my Instagram before, you'll know what it looks like. I'll put like an image on the side or something like that. But so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to new file. So for the tutorial, I'm only going to do 3000 by 3000. But for the final drawing, for your own art, I would recommend doing 9000 by 9000. I'll, I'll explain that right now. But I put the resolution at 400. I always do background gray just because white hurts my eyes. So 3000 by 3000, I'm going to hit create. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to view. And you go all the way down to guides and then go to new guide layout mine's already set up because i've done this before but you're gonna go columns you're gonna put it on three columns and three rows and then yours might be on gutter whatever your percentage just put it to zero or delete the gutter you don't want a gutter because when you have a gutter it'll put like a extra line on each and you can make this whatever uh color you want i just keep it on cyan because i like cyan Okay, you press okay. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring in like images, your drawings, right? This is what I'm saying, you have to like plan, plan it out. But you see this image is as big as the canvas. So that's why I would say I would make the canvas 9,000 by 9,000. That way this image would be like that size. And then you won't lose any quality when you export it. So just bring your images in. I'm just gonna bring in a bunch of random images and just set them up. But usually I don't really post too often on my timeline. I'm constantly just making art and then once I'm done with all the art, I'll start planning it out on a grid. But I want everything to not be touching the edges because I want it to look like it's cohesive, if that makes any sense. So like this one would be like that. And I'll put this one in the middle because this one's like, this one has like a uh, explosion coming off and I'll show you how to incorporate. It looks cool when you do this kind of stuff. But if you have um, a graphic design background, this will be like way easier for you. But I'm just adding like random things like Spider-Man, we'll put him over here. Can I delete that background for me, Spider-Man? Can I? Can I do it? All right, we got Spider-Man. We'll put him like, we'll put Spider-Man kind of like overlapping Drake, default Drake. Uh, we need like three more images. Let's put this one down here. Okay, then I'm just gonna delete all the gray from this one. Okay, that's just a random one. And then I'm gonna add, oh, my Spider-Man drawing. We'll have that overlapping multiple panels like that. And then my logo can go somewhere, I guess. So this is your final drawing. Obviously you'd wanna make it way prettier than this. Wait, I have more drawings I put in here. Let's put this fin just cause. Let's just put a fin in there. Ah, okay, you see how I just did that? I accidentally moved the guideline. You go to view, guide, and you can either clear the guide, which is what I usually do, and I'll go back to guides, new guide layout, press OK, and then I'll go back to view, guides, and I'll lock the guides. So now I can't, you can't move them, because I always accidentally move them. So I hope you caught that. I hope I made it understandable, but uh, let's put this guy. Uh, we need one in the middle, I guess, right there. Okay, and then this one, how it's like the gray is kind of like coming off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something for that. 
so this one follow this path that i made so like boom and then it comes up over here boom and then back here and then i'm gonna um fill it with that color like that but you see how it's like it's coming from the center now so i'm gonna fix it so it's not like covering the drawing so but boom and then it's gonna come down here a little bit not all the way though because it's like and then we need one over here we're going from spider-man to drake and then we need this one just a little bit so now it looks like it's all coming off of that right so then i would put that layer on like multiply looks cool but let's just do multiply for now because it's kind of like interlapping but i noticed right here it's kind of not oh you know why it's snapping to the grid which is stupid okay so if your lasso tool is snapping to the grid what i hate so go to view snap and just turn the snap off and then it won't snap no more to the grid there you go perfect because man that, that 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 annoys me see that's why it could you see how it gets like these straight lines right here that's because it's snapping so we'll just fill those back in so now it looks like he's kind of like having like a little explosion we'll probably put one over here okay so you have this whole image and keep in mind this whole image is 3000 by 3000 again i would recommend like 9000 by 9000 just because when you do the export process right now each one of these cubes are only gonna be like a thousand by a thousand which is okay i guess maybe it'll be smaller than that one two three yeah it might be like three thousand by three thousand but i recommend five thousand to nine thousand by nine thousand but your pc it's gonna it's gonna go slow on the export process but i feel like it's worth it okay so once you've done this you're done all right you have your drawing laid out everything's laid out you're gonna make sure these three dots right above your colors right here some people depending on which workspace you're using i'm using painting workspace depending on your workspace you might see this tool already but you're gonna you're looking for the slice tool so if you hold down on those three dots you go to the slice tool and then you go up here at the top slice from guides boom and then all these just cut each square these are all cut and then you're gonna go to file export save for web and this is where it's going to take depending on how big your image is it's going to take a little bit long to load my image is small so it's going okay it's not that it's not that much so i usually do png 24 um i tried jpeg uh it's okay but you can see all the little particles and stuff like that so i do png 24 and then you're not going to change anything else just copy my settings if you want if yours aren't the same and i'm gonna hit save boom and you just save it to wherever just title it i'm just gonna put tut and i'm gonna hit save and it's gonna make a new file wherever like a new folder and it's gonna save every one of those images separately as a grid into a new folder so let me pull that up real quick so i saved it to my pictures and inside of my pictures it made a new a new folder so then when you open up the new folder it saves everything and when you upload it to instagram you just have to remember this is number one you have to look back at your image this is going to be the first post and then the second post, third post, fourth post, fifth post, sixth post, you get it, right? You're gonna upload them in order. So then when you upload them to Instagram, let me make a janky little Instagram. Okay, so here's how my Instagram looks right now. Sometimes when I only have two images loaded, I'll upload my reel, an Instagram reel to take the place of the third image. That way, all the other images line up. You can see the rest of uh, my profile right here, all the way down. It was longer than this, but I deleted a lot of images because my art, I feel like I got way better. So a lot of my art was like ugly. They just looked outdated, but my grid and everything was still intact. So what I usually do is I'll do like all white and I'll slowly blend it into a new color and add like some textures and then slowly blend that into a new color and then add some textures right here, full images and then have that slowly blend into a solid color that way if in the future there's like images i don't like i can just remove the solid color ones and it'll still flow so i'm gonna go back to my images and pretend like i'm uploading these to my instagram i'm gonna upload them i'm gonna drag and drop all of them in okay i'm gonna select them all and i'm gonna resize them so they're all basically so they're all basically the same size as these these uh cubes okay so we have the first one which is the technically number nine so it'd be the first instead of the last and then we're gonna move this one over boom and then this one over boom this one up boom and then this one up to the left boom and 
then this one up over here like that and then I forgot I have a third row so I'm just gonna grab all of these and bring them down one row boom a boom and then boom and then I'm gonna go to three bring that one up bam bam and then this one will go over here so this is how it would look I mean more cleaner obviously on your Instagram so it would look like a full-on image but the only thing is it takes a lot of time to plan it out it takes a lot of art to fill in the gaps and unless you're creating art every single day I feel like it's you're not gonna be able to post every single day so it's really time-consuming but I I made a decision like two years ago when I started doing this I was like you know what I don't care about my timeline no more Instagram's focusing on reels I don't care about posting daily on my timeline so I'm just gonna make my timeline look nice make it look like something that I would want to see I think I've seen like one guy do it uh, who was like a fashion dude and that's where I got the idea and I actually commented and asked how to do it and he never replied that he just like liked my comment so I was like oh damn okay I'll just figure it out myself and I figured it out and it took me a while to figure it out but now I'm sharing it with you guys because you guys all want to know and that's the type of thing I'm talking about gatekeeping sucks and I don't get why people gatekeep it's so weird to me like if you need help with anything just just ask me if there's any problems here you guys can understand ask me and I'll try to I'll try to make it as fluid and as understandable as I think I could I don't know if I I don't know if I achieved that, but yeah, gatekeeping is just weird to me, man. Especially now with like AI, I feel like all artists should be helping out other artists as much as we can. So if you like learn something, why would you gatekeep it and not trying to help out another artist? To me, in my mind, it's like people are not doing the research to figure something out. They're not going to use the knowledge that you give them to continue. Like I get why people gatekeep like family recipes and stuff like that, but like a clothing brand, like when you're making shirts, like why would you gatekeep? the shirt brand or why would you get even manufacturer for making key change or something like you, you'll be helping out that business you'll be helping out other artists and it just I, I just can't get it through my head like why you wouldn't want to share that knowledge like i understand like you researched everything and tried to figure it out yourself but in my mind what i'm thinking is this person like so, okay say i'm giving you all this knowledge on how to make your instagram look like mine a fluid layout i did tons of research and now i'm helping you guys now you guys have to actually execute on making your profile look like this if you really want to and from my experience all the people I helped out over the years people will try it and it's too much work for them and they'll just quit so same thing if I gave somebody like I say I had like a t-shirt brand and I gave them the manufacturer but um you have to call the manufacturer he speaks a different language so you have to hire like an interpreter or you just have to go through email and time zones are different and it just takes a long process People will try it and they'll get sick of doing that and they won't do it no more. So I just, to me, I'm just like, if you want to know something, I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to gatekeep nothing. And it just sucks that a lot of artists I reach out to gatekeep and they don't want to, and they don't want to help out other artists, which is, it sucks, but I guess they feel like they're threatening their money or something like that. If I ever get to that level where I'm gatekeeping, stop watching me guys, please. Because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. So I hope this tutorial worked out for you guys. If your favorite artist is gatekeeping, would they be your favorite artists? I'm just kidding. A lot of my favorite artists gatekeep, but uh, I get it. It's it's a lot of it has to do with money, and they worked hard to gain the knowledge that they gained. Uh, I worked hard to gain a lot of my knowledge, and I know how hard it is to gain that knowledge. So I feel like if I I feel like if I can take the steps, then I can give a younger artist tips to take the elevator. I guess I don't know. Like they could take a shortcut, and then some people could be like, oh well, they won't learn anything if you're just giving them all the answers. It's like, but it's like true, but they can get to their end goal easier, quicker. But I'm just rambling. I don't know. I just feel like. I ask a lot of questions I don't get the answers to and I'm just trying to help out my fellow artists. So if you're a fellow artist and you need help with something and nobody's helping you and I look like I have the answers, maybe just ask me. I'll help you. There's no problem. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to my patrons. Shout out to my Instagram followers. Shout out to my TikTok, I guess. They don't really like me over there no more. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. YouTube, man, I love you guys. YouTube is like my new thing. Every Monday, we're uploading a new video. So I hope you guys like it. We're doing everything art related. We're not just artist alley vlogs. We're not just we're just we're not just a speed art video guy anymore. We're not just draw with me. We're everything. If it's art related, it's art related. And I think I talked about it last week. I'm gonna do a review next week of all the artics 
uh, markers that I have, and I'm going to tell you guys which one I think is the best one for you. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out. Shout out Patreon. Shout out you guys. Hope you guys like this video. And if you gatekeep, please comment and let me know what's your thoughts on gatekeeping because I can't get this through my head, man. I just, maybe I'm stupid or something. Maybe I'm dumb for giving away all this information for free, but have a good one. See you guys next Monday. Oh, happy Monday. Goodbye. You got nothing to say, mouth!